What is up guys, MurderDo14 here. Uh, today we're taking a quick look, of course, at my portable x86 project. Um, so you can see, obviously, from the video before, that it's uh, pretty rough, has some rough edges here. Uh, again, this is just like the rough, ugly prototype, so that's why it looks like this. Um, this is a touchscreen, it's uh, 5 inches, and it's 480 by 800 So, not the best resolution, but honestly it's not that noticeable at this size. Um, up here we'll move on to the I.O. Um, this was an audio jack, but it got kind of pushed in and broken when I used it the first time, so now it has no headphone jack, just like, you know, all the other devices coming out these days, so, you know, keeping up with the times. Anyways, uh, here's the USB port for external use, uh, adding games, uh, watching video files, um, connecting controllers, things like that. And over here, of course, is volume and power. Uh, that little click there is power on and off, so you can save power by just turning them off if you're using the headphone jack, for example. I mean, uh, there is no headphone jack. We're keeping up with the times. Anyways, on the back here, we have the uh, Intel Compute Stick. I just mounted a little fan on this. Uh, it's from an old graphics card. Keeps it a little cooler, and also the whiny little fan here doesn't come on as often. It's extremely annoying. I don't know, it bothers me a lot. Maybe it doesn't bother some people as much, but I can't stand it. Um, over here, I added a little micro SD card, 128 gigs, Samsung, just to add more space for Steam games and things. Uh, the 32 gigs on here fills up pretty much instantly. Just with Windows 10 installed, I think there was less than 16 gigs left. So, yeah, wasn't a whole lot left there. Uh, we got two USBs plugged in, obviously. This is for the touchscreen and the power for the screen. This is for the USB hub, which um, is down below here. Uh, over here, I connected it to the screen using two um, HDMI um, right angle connectors uh, right here so there's one two uh, there was no way that I was going to solder all those delicate pins I'm simply not that good so I was not gonna bother I just hooked these up and it does the trick it really does it works well um, here's the USB hub of course as I mentioned earlier uh, it's a powered USB hub power comes in from this one which connects to the power bank and then um, the data of course comes from here so this is where it gets the data connection to the uh, PC uh, there's one speaker over here. I have stereo, stereo set up. So there's one here, and there's like one over here. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of dark in that corner there. But uh, it's not bad. It sounds pretty good uh, in games and stuff. And uh, so yeah, that's the prototype for now. Um, obviously, can't really bring this out in public and stuff. It looks like a claymore or something. Um, there's wires dangling out of it and stuff. It looks pretty sketchy. Um, obviously the next revision is going to be a 3D printed case. I'm currently working on modeling that right now. And uh, once that is done and printed from Shapeways, I should be able to use that. And that will definitely um, make it look a lot better instead of like a switch from the post-apocalypse or something. I don't know. But um, that's it for now. So um, thanks for watching guys. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.